Hi, I am Seth, and welcome to the channel. Did you know you can take any image generated from Midjourney, Blue Willow, or even a non-AI photo and upscale it for free? Take this drawing, for example. I used Midjourney to generate this, and I can easily upscale this to 4K, or even 8K. I upscaled it in seconds with a free tool via Comfy UI and Stable Diffusion. Let me show you how. If you don't know what Stable Diffusion or Comfy UI is, I suggest you check out the link in the description, which contains all the basics. To get started, you must have Comfy UI Manager installed. Go to the manager where you can see Install Custom Nodes. Click there and search for Ultimate. Here, you need to install Ultimate Update Scale, a script by Coyote A. I had done one tutorial regarding this tool for Automatic 11.11. This one is basically a direct script port from Automatic 11.11. After installation, close the command and restart the UI. Now, I will start from the basics. First, you need to add a checkpoint. I am going to select the official SDXL safe.tensor. Second, I am adding the load image node. This allows us to load any image we want to upscale. I am selecting an image generated by Midjourney, which is 1024 by 1024 resolution. In the checkpoint node, you should connect the model, clip, and VAE. So, first, I am adding a negative and positive prompt. I would be nesting these two nodes into one for simplicity. If you don't know how I am doing this, please check out my previous Comfy UI video. I explained the basis there. Double click and search for ultimate and I am adding the ultimate upscale node. In the upscale ultimate node, you can see that it has inputs for image, model, positive, negative, VAE, and upscale model. The model should be connected with the model from checkpoint and then connect the positive and negative points from the prompt's nested nodes. For the VAE, you should again connect from the checkpoint node. Connect the image input from the load image node. In the upscale by, you can choose anything higher than one to a max of four. What this does is it will upscale according to the input, so if you buy 1.75, it will upscale the image as per the input given. Change the randomize to fix and let the seed remain at zero for now. Now, for an image to image upscale, always change the model to none. Change the tile width and height to 1024. We would need this in the next part of the tutorial. We won't change anything else for now because we have selected the model to none. In the second part of the tutorial, we will change some values as I will show you how to use a prompt for text to image and upscale via this method. We need an upscale model input mode. So let's do that. Here, I am using the 4X Foolhardy Remakery upscale model. You can use any model, this one or the 4X Ultra Sharp one. And Google search any model name and download it from Hugging Face. Now, I will connect the image output to either save, preview, or both nodes. 
For the tutorial, I am only connecting a preview node. The image is now 4K without any loss in details. For the second part of the tutorial, I will show you how to upscale using just a text prompt rather than image to image. A simple prompt, painting of a cat in the forest. We need to pass it through a sampler for text to image upscale using this tool. For the latent image, I will use an empty latent image node and change the resolution to 1024 by 1024. We must also connect the positive and negative conditioning to the case sampler, as well as the model. The latent output from the case sample should connect to the VAE decode node. Connect the checkpoint VAE to the decode node. Now connect the image output from the VAE decode node to the image input in the ultimate SD upscale node. Now, here, the denoise strength is completely reversed. 1 means 100% and 0 0.4 means 40%. We don't want to put one here because as the image passes through the case sampler to ultimate SD upscale and it will replace the entire image with bizarre results. So I will keep the value at 0.15 to keep the original image generated by the case sampler. Make sure the same fixed denoise value is the same as well. In the mode type, I am selecting linear as the tiling method. This will make tiles of 1024 by 1024 up to the specified resolution. Ensure the case sampler setting is the same as in the ultimate SD upscale node. Now everything is done, let's try and see what comes up.
You can see in the command prompt that the image size will be 4096 by 4096 and the tiles amount is 16, meaning it will run 16 times at step 20 to generate the upscale image with your prompt. The upscaling is perfect. With this tool, I can upscale the 4x image again and again. I have upscaled up to 19,000 resolution, but it takes some time. It's like 64 seconds on my PC, which is pretty good. This is the perfect tool for me to upscale my mid-journey or blue willow images and any photos I have. I hope you got to learn something from this video, and if you did, I highly appreciate a like. Thank you for your support so far. Until next time.